When is the last time you actually bought a watch that put a smile on your face? Fifty percent nostalgia, fifty percent contemporary, and somehow two hundred percent awesome. It's loud, it's in your face, and it's impossible to ignore. This is by no means a re-edition. It is a firm nod to the past, yes, um, but that's about it. This is uh, taking everything you grew up liking about G-Shocks and putting that essentially in a highly contemporary format. First thing you'll notice as soon as you pick up this watch is that it is heavy. Um, it's very heavy. This is not a watch that you'll forget you're wearing. It's anything but lightweight. When you put it on your wrist, another thing you will see is that the end links do not articulate, which is something worth noticing when deciding if this watch will fit your wrist or, or not. The, the end links do slope down a lot, so this should be fine for most wrists. For, for your reference, so my wrist is on the smaller side, and uh, as you'll see throughout the video, it wears perfectly fine. When you slide this watch on your wrist, you will notice another thing. It wears so incredibly comfortable. This is mainly due to the uh, great bracelet. It's an excellent bracelet, in fact. It doesn't just wear well, I also happen to think it looks great. So the links are brushed and then you have those little accents which are polished and it uh, plays nicely with the polished case and then the brushed square bezel on the watch face. One minor thing to note is the clasp. It's a good and solid clasp, don't get me wrong uh, there. It just leaves that large gap uh, which you can hopefully see in this picture. And uh, I would have liked to see a bit of a better fit here uh, at this price point. I'm sure that would have been possible. This is not a deal breaker, but it did bother me in the first couple of days. So this is of course a G-Shock, so you get a hard-wearing watch, watch resistance and all the uh, extra functionality. It looks and behaves exactly how you expect any other G-Shock to uh, behave. One thing to note is that it is a Bluetooth connected watch, so you can connect your watch to your phone with an app. I used it when I first got the watch to configure the different time zones and that is pretty much the end of it. So yeah, that's all I have to say about uh, Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, it is of course not a watch that flies under the radar and I'm generally not the type of person who enjoys that, but this is somehow an exception. Uh, it's just a very fun watch to, to wear and unexpectedly is a very wearable watch. I wouldn't call it the perfect one watch collection, but I guess it could be. 